I guess in this video we're gonna take a look at, an, uh, at a physics-based simulation game called uh, Twinkle Architect. Now this app is is a gem on the App Store, and uh, I, some people can easily miss it because I think that the um, screenshots aren't attractive. Uh, but once you start playing this game, you really find out that you find really something amazing. So the thing is that I previously reviewed a game called the Playga Playground AR Sandbox. Uh, and it's a, it's a sandbox game uh, in augmented reality where you can play with physics uh, and there are some gameplay elements but really minimalistic and I said I really want something even better than this and, and then this game comes. So before we're gonna talk about this game, let's jump into uh, the previous game that I reviewed and uh, I want to show you something. So this is Playground AR Physics Sandbox. Uh, you can see you can put some balls and actually position some tanks. And I was able to shoot with the tank, uh, shoot the ball with the tank, and then I position a goal uh, on the ground. And then if the ball uh, enters uh, the goal area, I get a point. And then you can actually play it with another player, a local, uh, create a local multiplayer, and you can actually play against each other, kind of a, a tank uh, soccer game. Inside, so let's do this. Oh, can I move the tank? Oh, I can shoot actually. Oh, <gasps> what? Oh my god! No way, no way I did this. No way, this was more of a scoop thing. Oh my god. No way, two goals? Yeah, that game can yield really cool moments, but let's jump back into uh, uh, our the game that we are originally reviewing and uh, let's talk about it. Now, um, Architect is more, uh, you know, game oriented. It feels, you know, that uh, uh, the developer wanted uh, to create a certain goal and see if the user can reach it because there's a score for each level but there's also a place where you can just a sandbox where you can just get crazy and play with uh, all the available stuff without any missions or goal to achieve um, in a particular level. In this level I need to create a tower uh, which reaches uh, 15 meters high. Uh, please uh, don't be harsh on me, I was really bad doing this. Uh, so the things that you can do, you can put nodes, uh, these little boxes, you can also choose the materials. This is wood, you also have uh, ice, which is slippery, and uh, you have um, stone. Uh, you can also uh, connect between the pieces using uh, the weak link and then you just create a connection between them. But just make sure that if you want to use it, you need to have uh, a distance between uh, the two blocks in order to create a connection. You just tap the weak link and then uh, uh, press uh, the first uh, node and then the other node and it will create a connection. We're going to see it later. Now keep in mind that you have limited amount of materials to achieve the goal, right? You see you have only 48 uh, links here and you have uh, left, I left only 45, see it gets down 44, 40 nodes in order to reach the goal. And you think if you're just gonna just, you know, like I did now, just, just press, press, press and it's gonna work. Ah, very close. And I did it, but it fell, right? Because you need to stand there for, I think like uh, a few seconds until the game says, okay, you did good, you know, like you are lifting some, um, like in the Olympics, when you lift the weight, you know, you need to make sure you hold it for a certain period of time before you get an okay, you know, we get it. So the same here. Now I think that the user interface is kind of an overwhelming, uh, but maybe it would better just to squeeze them into less buttons. Um, but you know, they're useful. You can actually uh, save your progression and load it. You can actually copy and paste here and delete. There are useful options available for you. As you can see, an architect, I'm not, but that's the thing, this game is challenging. And this is exactly what I wanted Playground AR to have, you know, I'm not only removing the sandbox, of course not, I'm just saying adding something that, you know, is a, a gameplay based, you know, where you have a score and you know, uh, you have a certain goal that you need to reach. And by the way, of course, I'm playing this uh, in single player. We can actually invite other players uh, and play with them together. Uh, yeah, try to do it together and play at the same time. This is amazing. Now I'm going to read something from the App Store. Uh, so supports up to four devices for chaotic multiplayer building. This is really amazing. 
uh, Twinkle create high quality trusted educational materials that support learning from birth to adulthood. Of course, adulthood. I didn't even have problems doing it myself, and I'm not that young. Now, one thing that kind of annoyed me, uh, as you can see, uh, you can't see any grid. So, um, um, there is one actually, you know, but you can't see it. So, when you try to position a certain block in, you know, in a certain way parallel to another block, you sometimes get it wrong. And if there was like a grid, maybe it was easier because I would just tap the grid uh, uh, in a certain location. I was able to accurately position the box. But it's not that uh, uh, you know an issue, and you can always save and load uh, you know your structure. Uh, but again, it's something that I would like to see as an option to just have uh, you know the option to uh, display the grid or hide it. Now, aside from the very um, uh, crowded UI that I didn't, well, I, I wasn't a fan of, but uh, overall the air experience was fantastic in my opinion. I mean, I told you this is the type of game that I wanted to have in augmented reality, and I think this is the first time that I really get something that I was really excited about because I really want to play, uh, you know, such a game. So I was very happy that uh, I discovered it. I actually saw it before and I kind of skipped it. I don't know why. Uh, but I told myself eventually, you no, know, it was on my list, so I need to review it. All right, so here you can see me using the link connection. Uh, later on, you're gonna see something really cool, but just wait. It's kind of an, at the end of the video, but uh, just wait. Uh, here you can see the link connection it shows you if it's strong or weak. If it's very strong, uh, it's it's uh, green. If it's weak, you know, it gets a kind of a yellow, uh, orange, and red color. Now those links can be broken, if you put force on them, uh, they will break. So you need to make sure that you are positioning your blocks in the correct way. Uh, here I'm just uh, building, I, I didn't understand first of all how to do this, how to use it correctly, but this is not the way. Uh, the thing is that you can actually uh, create connections, you know, create blocks uh, here and connect them to the bottom and then remove the bottom ones because the force of the link we're gonna hold, uh, we're gonna hold the block in the air. But again, you know, it's it's very challenging because it takes time for you to to understand things about how the physics works in this game. And although you don't have many um, items here, what you have here, I think it's enough for people to get confused with. So it really takes time to understand things. And then th that's the fun. You just play with the blocks and with this, this link connection and try to uh, achieve that goal. And it's not easy. Honestly, I wasn't able to reach it. I wasn't able to create a 15 meters high uh, structure without uh, it being uh, fall, uh, falling apart. Uh, here I'm trying <laughs> to just create a link so it will hold uh, this structure which is just about to fall, but look what happens. Honestly, I really laughed at this part. It was so funny because connecting them, so both of them uh, fell at the same time. But again, this is something that teaches you something, how to use and understand how the force affect uh, the um, interconnection of the blocks. And you know, it's very interesting because you try again and you try to figure out different ways. Of course, people who learn architects probably are going to solve it like in a second, but I don't have uh, you know this type of knowledge and I need to start and understanding things from the beginning. So here, let's try something else, right? So I'm trying to build a bridge thing. Now, this is complicated. I, I, I need to spend a lot of time on this. Maybe you'll be able to solve this uh, fast. I wasn't able to. Uh, here you can build a bridge. And again, I just thought to myself, all right, let's just build something straight, right? You know, just build blocks and uh, and uh, the truck you're gonna move uh, <clears throat> on top of it. Actually, when you finish building, you see that bottom at the top, the truck, uh, you just press it and then it's going to simulate a truck uh, going over the bridge <clears throat> and it's going to use real physics as i told you so uh if the bridge you can't cheat here there's no uh shortcuts here you need to build it accurate so you need to build it well so the truck will be able to pass through and uh, uh, if you think you're just going to build something like i did and just let the truck pass through it, it won't work just take a look This was a joke. I told it won't work. Actually, it didn't. But I tried. I tried. But you can't do this. You know, physics here. We're gonna. If you don't build it well, it's gonna fall down. It's gonna fall apart. 
and of course it we need to stand uh, the weight of the truck and there again I told myself all right all right I know what to do I'm gonna just build something from the bottom you know some um, uh, pillars in order to support uh, the bridge but it didn't work for for it I don't know why because when I intersected with the bridge it actually just pop it up and ruin everything just ma just make sure that you are saving your progression using the save button because if you ruin something it's just gonna be a total mess everything will break down and you need to probably start from the beginning Yeah, it's challenging. It's it's very challenging. I actually was able to make the truck actually pass through, but not pass through to the end. But the thing is that the bridge collapsed even in you know, a few, you know, centimeters. And what happened is the truck couldn't pass through uh, completely. And of course, I failed. Uh, the thing is, if the game doesn't get stuck if the uh, truck gets stuck. It just counts, for example, like 15 seconds and just see if the truck reaches the goal after the certain amount of time. And if not, it's going to say you failed and you need to start all over again. Yeah, as you can see, this didn't work. And then after a few seconds, again, notifies you that you failed. Uh, just didn't work. <laughs> and I needed to try again. I wasn't able to finish it, by the way. If you are able to finish it, please show me the solution. All right, let's move on to the, you know, the creative uh, uh, level, because this is a kind of a free sandbox uh, where you can do whatever you want. So the creative level, you know, you don't have any goal here. Here you can see I'm just attaching balloons to a box. Just look how beautiful it is. Just flies in the air. This is something similar that you have in a playground AR as well. But look at this, they're just popping up and uh, they just, um, the nodes just fall down on the floor. And you have this pool and this ice uh, ramp and you can really do really crazy stuff there. Now, in terms of sandbox uh, level, uh, Playground AR was much, much better than this because it's so many items and you know can really do crazy stuff with this. But here, you're kind of limited. You have only those nodes, those connections and balloons, you know, it's very limited. But still, it's fun. It's fun to play, to play with. So as you can see in augmented reality you can actually make ice cubes fly in the air using balloons yes yes nothing else no no other items are needed just use your phone and you're good to go to create really cool stuff and then they fall into the pool neat so here i'm just uh, putting some uh, uh cubes over the um, uh the ramp made of ice and you can see it's sliding down depends on the material that you're using just put up many of them and now I've decided to just connect them uh, in order to see how physics uh, will apply to it if I am gonna connect them with the links and then connect balloons to it kind of an interesting idea right let's see how it goes So I personally really like this part and you know because it teaches you something you know and, and maybe you're gonna apply what you see here into the levels themselves that's why it's kind of a practice uh, using the sandbox it's kind of a practice in order to understand the connection between the blocks the nodes uh, uh, balloons by the way I tried to put balloons uh, in the levels it wasn't available maybe just available in the sandbox but just look at this look how beautiful it is as you can see, I really enjoy playing Architect. I mean, still going to play it even more. Uh, I wish there were more items, much more items in the sandbox mode uh, and more levels to play. Uh, and, you know, some adjustment to the UI to make it clearer because just over, overwhelmingly crowded uh, you know, for an augmented reality app. So these type of things, I want to see uh, the developer improving in future updates. But overall, this is really an amazing uh, augmented reality experience that I'm sure many uh, people who enjoy playing uh, uh, with uh, sandbox games or uh, playing uh, physics-based puzzle games will enjoy uh, this app and a lot. 
So this is the end of my review. If you enjoyed this video, guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, and thanks for watching. I see you on the next video with really cool uh, videos of other apps uh, and other cool stuff related to augmented reality uh, that I'm sure you're going to enjoy. Thank you. See you soon. Bye, Mike.